Okay, so we've let all of our parts soak. We've cleaned them all up. Everything's nice and clean. Uh, this is probably the hardest part you will have to get clean. Uh, you have to get inside of this groove and clean out that groove in there really, really well because that's where the upper part's gonna snap in. So if it's not clean, that part's not gonna snap in. So some of this we still have to take apart a little bit. You've gotta separate this piece and take this off to get to that seal in that upper ball. So your biggest thing on these pumps is you have to watch how these packings go together. Uh, I've already pulled out all of these from the upper. Uh, these are the felt pieces, so you can see those are not felt anymore. They're not soft at all. They're very, very hardened with ISO. Then you have with a spacer that goes up there, and then you have the upper U-cup. Uh, you can see there's a spring down inside of here that goes to your pressure side and you can also see there's another one here and a spring again your pressure side so these set facing each other and your pressure is built in the middle if you turn one of these around and have it on the wrong way you're not going to build any pressure it's going to leak right by it so but keep special note of the order and how these things are stacked on these pumps you have to put them back the same way So I'm going to set them like that so I know which way they came apart. The check ball comes out. We're going to replace that. The other things we have to get off is we've got to get off this Teflon seal here. Again, this is bad, so don't worry about ruining it. Everything else is nice and clean in there. And we also have the Teflon seat that's down in the bottom of this. Very, very small one. Hard to see. Again, got to make sure you get it out of there. Okay, so that's it. Completely disassembled, cleaned, ready to go back together. Part number for this kit is a 249855. We'll put that out there. Comes with the instructions. Again, if you have questions, it talks about most of this inside of here and it shows you more importantly kind of the order in which they go and how everything is stacked inside of that pump and how it should go. So this is what the rebuild is. There's your check balls and your seat and the rest of your spacers and parts and your felt packings. So this is the black piece I was talking about, that cap that holds the felt washers down that was just torn to pieces when we started. So first thing, put my Teflon washer back down in the bottom. Sorry, it goes in this one. Make sure it's seated where it's supposed to be. Again, very, very small, kind of hard to see down in there. That is the piece that this seat goes on top of. So that's the seal in the bottom of the pump to keep liquid from going out the bottom of it. Again, this seat is double-sided. Either one will work, and that's what that check ball sits against. So that has to be a nice fit. If there's any liquid that could leak by those two, your pump is going to leak and not build pressure. So you drop that down the bottom, make sure that it's seated really, really well. Your washer goes on top of that, your check ball goes on top of that, stacks in that, and then your cage goes over the top of that. So that whole thing fits in there nice and easy. You should be able to hear that check ball, make sure it works. I'll set that off to the side for a minute. So we've got our upper one, we're going to reassemble it just like it was. So the seal goes up, just like that. 
Spacer goes on, just like that. Check ball goes in it, don't forget the check ball. And then the stem. Now it does require a little bit of Loctite on this. Tighten that down, that piece is ready. <clears throat> now we have to assemble the top half of our pump. So again, uh, this all kind of came out in one big piece, but again, the springs go down inside of there. So very carefully get it started and get it started off square. Then you've got the spacer that's gonna go on top of that and you can use that to push that down and get that piece started in there, okay? this part. So once you get it started a little bit, you can usually get this piece threaded or started up there, push down on it. You can use the threads of this to push that seal the rest of the way in and get it down all the way. Okay, so you got that down. We're going to tighten that up a little bit. Doesn't have to be super, super tight. It doesn't, doesn't affect the packings or anything. You just want to make sure it doesn't back out while the, while the pump's running. All right, now on the top side, you've got your felt packings that need to go in there and then the cap that's gonna hold them in there. So I like to take my pump oil and soak them really good, usually before I put them in there. So again, this is what you should be using every night on that pump to make sure it's lubricated. And again, this does not have a TSL system, so you have to do it manually. Problem is these things dry out and then they soak up the ISO, and then they're gonna get hard and crusty and stick to the shaft and look like those. So I'll let those soak in a little bit and absorb that oil. Make sure they're coated, and we're going to add some more to it anyway when we're done. So you can see how they fit down in there. Then you've got the black cap. It's got the little snap ring on it. Snaps right on and fits, and that's what holds them down. Okay. We also have to put this new Teflon ring on the bottom. Just slides on. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of oil to assemble this so that later on it slides inside of here and it actually seals on the inside of this together. So you need a little bit of lubricant on there. So now we have to put this back inside of here again. This is going to go back through our, our seal up on the top. So a little bit of light oil on all of this. Again, very careful to make sure that that's lined up really good. Don't screw up the seal. Okay, pump's basically back together. We 
You got your lower all ready to go. Okay, so we got the pump finished. Now we just got to put it back in the housing, same as it came out. So what I want to do is if I'm looking at this right here, and when this comes through this blue part, that's as far as I want to go. I don't need to screw it all the way up in there. I want those threads flush with the top of the housing. Now I have to leave this somewhat loose uh, because again, when it's on the machine like this, that pump motor should be, or this outlet tube, I have to gonna have to line it up. So I'm gonna leave this a little loose for right now until I get it on there. Uh, then once I have it on the machine and it's ready, I can screw the star nut up and snug it down and keep it in position where it should. Uh, but while I'm here, I'm gonna put my pin back in. Remember the pin we took off? A little bit of ISO on there. Get it lined up, get it pushed in there. And make sure you bring your spring clip back down over it so it's going to hold it in place and it's not going to come out on you. So there you're ready to go. now. We may have to pull this up and down a little bit and adjust this to, to get to where we need it to be to line up with the motor, but it should move fairly easy. All right, so we're ready to put the pump back on. So again, the washers that we took off are back on here. They're where they're supposed to be. And again, you got to watch this gear because if this gear comes off and moves a couple of teeth, you're going to be out of sync with the other pump. So make sure they didn't move. Uh, if you have a question, Pull the end cover off, the, you know, pull this piece off the other side and make sure your pumps are lined up where they should be. They have to be in, in sequence with each other. So this part can be a little tricky. It went right on for me. I kind of lined it up, but just like that. Now then once I've got it there, now I can bring my, my pressure side over. I can line that up. Once I get kind of everything in line where I want it, I can start to tighten things down. First part would be get a couple threads going on this piece, get your, get your outlet tube lined up, ends are all greasy. Again, I don't need to tighten it down, I just want to get it in place.
Okay, so now that I've got everything tightened up and everything's back, again, I'm going to put some more oil on the shaft of that. So there is a little gap between the actual shaft and that black housing, kind of like a wet cup again. You just want to fill that up and let that oil set in there. If a little runs out underneath, out of it, you know, no big deal. Uh, it's just going to coat that so that if any ISO does come out, it's not going to stick. So once you got that, put your cover back on. Again, don't forget the magnet. It goes on the crank. Anywhere, it doesn't really matter, but put it to the outside. Don't set it in the middle. It has to sense that it's going around. Sucks to get in there. 